In this lecture, I'm going to describe to you now why does the solubility of hydroxides increase down group 2. And we discussed previously that magnesium hydroxide was very insoluble. So I've picked two elements, uh, magnesium and barium in group 2. Barium is at the bottom of group 2 and magnesium is right at the top of group 2. Magnesium hydroxide is not very soluble. So uh, this is the equation for d dissolving magnesium hydroxide. It's, the, it's enthalpy would be the, called the enthalpy of solution. So you have magnesium hydroxide and it's a solid and I'm going to mix it in water and it's going to dissociate and form aqueous ions Mg2 plus and OH minus 1. The same uh, enthalpy of solution equation is for barium hydroxide. It's solid and uh, I'm going to mix it in aqueous in uh, water and it's going to dissociate and form aqueous ions. Now, barium hydroxide is very soluble, but magnesium hydroxide is not soluble. It has a very, very slight solubility. And as discussed previously, when you're dissolving the substances, there are two steps that occur. The first thing is that the ionic lattice of magnesium hydroxide that breaks and gaseous ions are formed. And then these gaseous ions form bonds with water molecules. They surround themselves with water molecules. This is enthalpy of hydration and they form aqueous ions. Uh, the same uh, goes for barium hydroxide. Barium hydroxide is a solid ionic lattice. You break the lattice first, gaseous ions are formed, and then these gaseous ions surround themselves with water molecules and they form aqueous ions, which is enthalpy of hydration. Now, what you need to understand is that, uh, and I'm going to explain the reasons why magnesium hydroxide is uh, not very soluble and barium hydroxide is more soluble. The first thing is that Mg2 plus is a smaller cation. It's at the top of the group. It only has two shells, so it's a it has ten electrons. So it's a, it's a it's a very small ion. Barium is at the bottom of uh, group two, and it's a much larger cation. Now, if uh, that's the only difference, the other ions, hydroxide ions, are the same in both cases, so that they would probably not be a factor in determining the solubility. Now, if it's a smaller cation. Smaller cations, they would be closer together in the ionic lattice. So a stronger ionic lattice, there would be more attraction. The charge density is higher because it's a smaller cation. So the lattice enthalpy is going to be much bigger. And when they form bonds with water molecules, those bonds would be stronger because it's a smaller cation. It would be having a larger force of attraction. So the enthalpy of hydration is also going to be more exothermic. Barium, on the other hand, is a larger cation, so larger cations, the ionic lattice would be, the distance between the ions would be much bigger, so a weaker ionic lattice would be formed. The force of attraction would be much weaker, so a smaller lattice enthalpy would be much easier to break the lattice of uh, barium hydroxide. And when the, that lattice is broken, the enthalpy of hydration, the bonds that it's going to form with water molecules, they are also going to be weaker because it's a larger cation. So uh, this part, enthalpy of hydration, is also going to be less exothermic. Now, as we've previously discussed, the enthalpy of solution is basically equal to uh, minus of lattice enthalpy plus the enthalpy of hydration. So the first part is that the ionic lattice is broken and this part is endothermic, it requires energy. And the second part is that the enthalpy of hydration, which is that gaseous ions, which once the ionic lattice is broken, those ions are going to form bonds, new bonds with water molecules and form aqueous ions. And this part is exothermic. So your enthalpy of solution is determined by two things. So uh, if you look at the two uh, uh, reactions that I have, two Hess cycles that I've drawn over here, Barium hydroxide, you, you're going to first break the bonds and then new bonds would be formed with water molecules. So, so there are two steps involving uh, when you talk about the enthalpy of solution. The same with magnesium hydroxide, you, bond, uh, you break the ionic lattice first, gaseous ions are formed and then aqueous ions are formed, new bonds with water molecules are formed. Now, as discussed previously, uh, down the group, as you move down the group, the cation size increases, so the lattice uh, is weaker, the ionic lattice is weaker, so it's easier to break the bonds. So minus lattice enthalpy, the value of minus lat lattice enthalpy decreases, it becomes less endothermic, it becomes very easy to actually break the bond. And similarly, when you move down the group, uh, the cation size uh, increases, increases, so the bonds that are formed with water molecules, they would also be weaker, so the enthalpy of hydration is also less exothermic. So as you move down the group, both lattice enthalpy decrease and the enthalpy of hydration also 
decrease. Now, when we're talking about group 2 hydroxides, since solubility increases down the group, that indicates that the enthalpy of solution down the group, so when you're talking about enthalpy of solution as you move down, uh, down the group, it should become less, it should become more exothermic. So it becomes more exothermic. Now what that basically means is that since solubility, solubility is increasing, that means less energy would be required to dissolve the substance. So if the enthalpy of solution is very endothermic, that would mean that it, the substance would not dissolve very easily. And if enthalpy of solution is exothermic, that would indicate that the solution dissolves very, very easily, it doesn't require energy. So since group 2 hydroxides, the solubility is increasing down the group, now that indicates that down the group, uh, this enthalpy of solution becomes more and more exothermic. So what that would hint, what that gives us, uh, it gives us an indication that the two terms when you talk about enthalpy of solution, one is lattice enthalpy and one is enthalpy of hydration. One of the term is endothermic because you're breaking the lattice and the other term where you're forming bonds with water molecules, that's exothermic because bonds are being formed and that's an exothermic process. So if the overall, as you move down the group, if the overall enthalpy of solution is becoming more and more exothermic, that would indicate that this term, this exothermic term has a larger value down the group and this endothermic term where you're breaking the lattice has a smaller value because it becomes much easier to break the lattice and uh, bonds with water molecules are then formed so it's easier to form bonds with water molecules and it's easier to actually break the lattice so only this way if enthalpy of hydration this exothermic term has a larger value and this lattice enthalpy term which is an endothermic term has a smaller value only then would the sum of the two would give us an enthalpy of solution that is more exothermic so this is what's happening down the group the enthalpy of hydration uh, although the value is decreasing but comparatively it would be a larger value and comparatively lattice enthalpy would have a smaller value so we're going to now describe the entire uh, process in words how we are going to answer the question in papers so again i'm i'm trying to explain this again the reason why barium hydroxide is more soluble is because it's much easier to actually break the lattice the ionic lattice would not be very strong because it's a larger cation so lattice enthalpy decreases a lot it becomes very 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 easy to actually break the lattice and all the bonds would be formed uh, uh, but comparatively uh, stronger bonds with water molecules are being formed. Enthalpy of hydration would be larger as compared to minus of lattice enthalpy. And the reason why magnesium hydroxide is not very soluble is because the value of lattice enthalpy would be much bigger compared to the enthalpy of hydration, which means that the breaking the ionic lattice is going to be very, very difficult. But uh, forming bonds with water molecules, those bonds would not be very strong. So enthalpy of hydration would, ha would have a smaller value compared to lattice enthalpy. So that would require a lot of energy to actually break the ionic lattice. So when you are asked to comment on the solubility of group 2 hydroxides and why they increase down the group, so what you're going to write in your exam is that the solubility of group 2 hydroxides increases down the group. And the reason is because cation size increases down the group and charge density decreases, which means that uh, bond breaking becomes easier and weaker bonds are formed. So a bigger cation is going to form a weaker ionic lattice and it's not going to form very strong bonds with water molecules. So both lattice enthalpy and enthalpy of hydration decreases, but lattice enthalpy decreases more compared to enthalpy of hydration, which is why that overall enthalpy of solution becomes more exothermic. So that would be your last point, which is going to be, hence, delta H solution becomes more exothermic 
down the groove. 